In this video, I'm gonna show you how to discover and track your online competitors. So why is this important? Well, first of all, tracking your competitors can help you find content ideas that'd be really difficult to discover on your own. Yes, you can use a keyword research tool to find content ideas, but most keyword research tools rely on you to enter a seed keyword into the tool. So it's limited by your own ideas. But when you track your online competitors and see what keywords they're ranking for, it can help you discover complete content angles, content types, content formats, and even specific keywords that you can also target. Tracking competitors can also help you find backlink opportunities because if you're noticing that your competition is getting backlinks from a specific source or a specific strategy, it can probably work for you as well. After all, they're in your niche, it's working for them, so there's no reason that it can't work for you too. But again, unless you're tracking your competitors, it's going to be hard for you to come up with these backlink opportunities on your own. Now, one thing to keep in mind before we get into the specific steps, keep in mind that your online competitors aren't just other businesses that you're competing competing with for customers, they can also be businesses that you're competing with in the search results. For example, a couple of years ago, Semrush bought my site, Backlinko, because we were competitors in the search results. Even though I sold online courses and Semrush is an online platform, so we weren't competitors in the traditional business sense, but we were competing for a lot of the same keywords. And that's one of the reasons that Semrush decided to buy Backlinko. That way, they didn't need to compete anymore. They could just rank for those exact keywords. And if they didn't track the competitors, they may not have seen that opportunity. So without further ado, let's get right into the steps. So your first step is to head over to the organic research feature in SEMrush and enter your website. So even though we're looking for competitors, how I wanna do this is actually to go to your website first and then SEMrush will just bubble up your competitors. Specifically, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down to the uh, competitive positioning map. And this will give you a short list of your competitors and kind of show you who's doing well in the space, who is getting the most traffic in the space and who are sort of the major players um, and where you fit into that landscape. But obviously this only shows you the first couple of competitors. You want to see all of them. And actually for this website that we were using the example, Semrush has 27,000 competitors. Now, one thing to keep in mind when we're talking about competitors here, we're not necessarily talking about competitors that are competing with you on the product side or the service side. So if you run an agency, it's not necessarily other agencies. It it could be other content websites. It could be you know websites that are selling tools like a like a SaaS software startup. So when we're talking about competitive positioning maps and competition in this context, we're really talking about people that are competing for the same keywords you are. And why this is important is that you can not only see who your competitors are, which is just good to know in general, you can see what other keywords they're ranking for that you're not ranking for. So let's look at a quick example here from um, Exploding Topics. You can see that the number one competitor according to Semrush is meetglimpse.com. And you can see that we share 925 common keywords. So it's essentially the number of keywords that we're both ranking for. And then there's SEO keywords, which are the number of keywords that actually bring users to the site. So they're not just keywords that are you're ranking for. They're actually those that are generating traffic. And what you can do is, first of all, peruse the list and just get an idea of who you're competing with. This is really valuable intel um, because what you'll find is in many cases, you'll find competitors that you might not have thought of. You probably know a lot of these already because they are competing with you on a business level, but you also find a bunch probably that they aren't competing with on, on a business level, but they're competing with you in terms of SEO. So what you want to do is pop those open, go to their website um, in SEMrush and look at all the keywords that they're ranking for. And it can help you discover keywords that maybe you wouldn't have thought of. Um, and if they're already competing against you for a bunch of keywords, that means they're probably in the same niche as you. So there are other keywords that they're ranking for or trying to rank for that you could rank for too. So that would be the first step in terms of finding competitors. Besides doing this sort of brief list, if you find a competitor that you really want to keep a close eye on and regularly check what they're ranking for, where they're getting backlinks and things of that nature, you can create a project around that competitor. So let's say, that I wanted to keep an eye on Demand Sage. I thought they were doing a really good job with their SEO in my niche, and I already found a couple of keywords that I might not have thought of that I could also rank for. Well, if that's the case, I don't wanna remember to have to check on them now and again, I can track them as a project. So what you wanna do is head over to your SEO dashboard, click on Create Project, and then enter that domain 
into SEMrush here with a project name can be like demand stage, competitor, research, or whatever. And then periodically you can check this as a project and see how they're doing overall. Check out their keywords, check out their rankings, even look at some of their backlink stuff and see how they're doing in terms of getting backlinks. But mostly we're really looking for traffic here and seeing where they're getting traffic from and which keywords they're ranking for specifically. So SEMrush actually has a dedicated feature called competitors discovery inside of position tracking that can help you find other competitors as well. It's also helpful to do this inside of position tracking. Why? Well, position tracking typically is a list of keywords that are the most important for you. So in the case of what we just looked at, SEMrush is looking at all of the keywords that you rank for, whether they're super important or not, and generating competitors for you. But if you're tracking, let's say 100 keywords or 50 keywords that are super important for your business, those are the competitors that are most important. Those are the ones you want to know about because those are your main keywords. And you can do that using position tracking. So if you're tracking keywords in position tracking, you can do this right now. If not, set up some keywords that are important to you in position tracking and then check the rankings over time and then go to competitors discovery. And this shows you a competition map very similar to what we looked at earlier. But again, this is limited to these competitors that are ranking for keywords that are super important for your business. That's why you're tracking them so closely in position tracking. You can also click on winners and losers and see sort of how things have changed over time. Now, in my case, in this example, these are relatively major websites that don't see a lot of movement. They're more or less you know, on the same page. But if you notice one of your competitors is making a move one way or the other, especially up, it can be a good sign that they're doing something right and you want to zero in on them and maybe create a project around them. You know, Using the strategy that we, we discussed before with organic research, you're looking at at a snapshot in time and saying that this competitor is you know doing well right now and that's why i want to track them winners or losers can help you see maybe a, a competitor that's a little bit smaller but trending up and you can say oh i really want to track them because they're doing things right and i want to see what they're doing and keep an eye on it so another quick thing you can do that's really cool and sort of a pro tip is when you're in competitors discovery click on top five and smart zoom and this will show you competitors that you're ranking for in the top five that are competing with you for the real you know money position in the search results, not just those that are ranking in general, which is kind of an important distinction because if you go to the top 100, you know, you're going to find domains that are ranking for maybe a bunch of different keywords, but they're ranking 50th. Is that really a competitor? You know, they are sort of competing with you on the same keyword, but they don't have a chance. They're not really in the same ballpark as you. But if you just zero in on keywords that you're ranking in the top five in, and they're also ranking the top five in, then you're looking at your real like head to head big time competitors. So there you have it. That's how to find and track your online competitors. In my opinion and in my experience, this is one of the best ways to find keyword ideas, content formats, backlink opportunities, and more. So go ahead and get started and I'll see you in the next video.